Right, hello everyone and welcome back to another match day vlog on the channel now today. I've been waiting to do this vlog for ages since we got knocked out of the FA Cup last Saturday by Solihull Moors 4-0. Today, this is my match day vlog of Wrexham FC versus Barnet being played at the racecourse ground. It's a 7 o'clock kickoff. And this is going to be a very even game. Wrexham sit 11th in the league table, whereas Barnet sit 12th. Wrexham's last league game was a 4-3 defeat to Wellstone. And Barnet's was a 1-0 home win versus Weymouth. Now, Barnet have got quite a fair few players out with, you know what, their keeper is 19 years old and their two full-backs are 18 and 19 so this is something we need to capitalise on today and see where their weaknesses are. And fingers crossed, get the three points. They've also got JJ Hooper, our former uh, striker, who's playing on the left wing today. My prediction, I'm going to go for a Wrexham 1-0 win. I reckon if he's playing Ponticelli, um, I don't think he will. But yeah, Ponticelli 1-0 to the Reds. Come on, I need to get the lucky scarf on in a minute and I'll see you guys for the lineups. So guys, the lineups are out now for Wrexham and Barnet. Wrexham start with Rob Layton in goal. The same back four we've played for the opening couple of games. Right wing, Jordan Davis and left wing, Elliot Durrell. Two centre midfielders of Luke Young and Jay Harris. And a front two of Kwame Thomas and Jordan Ponticelli. So Ponticelli does get a start today. And on the subs, it's Dibble, Horsfield, Rutherford, Yusuf and Dan Jarvis. The Barnet scheme will be on, uh, lineups will be on the screen there as well. So yeah, come on you Reds. I'm really hoping we can get the win today against the weak Barnet side. And yeah, come on you Reds, let's do this. Right guys, so we have kicked off now here at the racecourse ground. Wrexham's stream did actually nearly crash, so um, they got the lineups wrong as well. So the lineups will be on screen back there, the correct ones. And we've kicked off here at the racecourse ground. Come on you Reds, let's get all the three points. Let's do this. Right, Wrexham have a free kick here. It's going to be Anthony Jeffrey on it to whip it in. Durrell, Durrell has a shot, it's over the bar. So... Wrexham have been the dominant team in the opening 10 minutes. Um, I think you can notice where Barnet don't have players out because like you can tell by their inexperience. Um, so Wrexham, I'm sure we can get the win today and get us back on winning terms. Come on, you Reds. It's a promising start. On top. Let's do it. Wrexham have a corner here. Anthony Jeffrey, they're all crowding the keeper. Come on. Let's see what he can do. Just blaze a shot over the bar. I wouldn't put it past him blazing this corner straight out. Jeffrey to the keeper. It's cleared. Harris plays it back out to Jeffrey. He's going to want to take on his man. He does. Gets one in. Uh, for God's sake, Callagher can't go on the end of it. Right, guys, so it is half time here now at the race course ground. 0 0 going into the break. I wouldn't say either team has been good. I wouldn't say they've been bad. I'd say Wrexham have been the better team. Not creating enough chances off throw-ins or troubling their keeper. He spilt a few shots. Um, we need to test him more because he doesn't look confident at all. He keeps dropping the shots. And we just need to capitalise because, really, we should be beating teams like Barnet, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, we dominate. We've I say we've been the dominant team, but we still haven't played that well. Either teams will want to improve into the break. Oh, let's just hope this is a better, better second half. I've only had a couple of clips to put in. So yeah, come on you Reds. Let's do it in the second half. See you there. Right guys, so the second half has now kicked off. Wrexham who are attacking towards the Glyndua University stand. Looking for the win. Three minutes in the second half. We've had a good chance just then from Jeffrey. Um, positive start and I'm sure we can get all three points. Fingers crossed we can. Because we should really be beating teams like this. Barnet coming forward. Nothing coming. Come on, you Reds. <sighs> made, not made. Ned Barn have a good free kick here. Oh, he's going to put it in. Come on. Good save from Layton. Good save there. Two hands to parry that one away. He thought he'd whip it in from there, but he's gone for the sneaky shot, and Barnet do have a corner. Good save from Rainson. Should never have been a free kick in the first place. Stupid foul. And yeah, come on you Reds. Oh, I'm going to stop saying that. Wreck some corner here in the 61st minute. It's going to be Darrell to whip it in. Come on. Header towards goal. Harris got his head to it. Not troubling the keeper. 
Still yet to see a goal in this match. 0-0, 61 minutes played. There should have been two clear penalties then. Maybe a handball from Darrell's attempted cross. And then Thomas was sort of, he had his shirt grab really tight. Preventing him from getting any touch to the ball on the way through. That should have been a penalty all day long. Poor refereeing skills. Just because the player doesn't go down doesn't mean you can't give a pen. Absolutely shocking refereeing. Right guys, so Wrexham have suffered two injuries here with 10 minutes to go. Uh, Theo Vassell has just come off for Horsfield and about two minutes later, Hall Johnson is going off injured. He's tried to get up a couple of times from going down, but this is the time it hasn't worked. So we're bringing Jordan Davis on. Uh, so we, we're thinking that Horsfield's going to go into right back. Record and, and Kelleher centre-backs and Davis left back. God, we are just injury 11, aren't we, at the minute? Too many injuries and, yeah, too many substitutions being made. We're going to need more players if we continue to get injured like this. Corner to Wrexham in the 89th minute. Come on. It's another corner. I thought Keller headed it wide, but it's not. It's going to be Jeffrey on this corner now. Let's pause in between. Take two, Anthony Jeffrey. They're crowding the keeper. 89th minute. Please make it good. Please make it good. Please make it good. Off oh, the post. Oh, he's given a free kick. Uh, Harris gave away the foul there. We hit the post, but it was a free kick. Two Barnet, and I think that is it. Nil nil full time, surely. I'll probably see you at the end of the match. Full time here at the race course ground. Wrexham nil, Barnet nil. No improvement whatsoever from our 4 0 defeat to Solihull. Dean Keats, I'm telling you now, we've given him enough time in the in the past and now now this season. He needs to go. We need to get a manager in ASAP that knows what to do with this club and this bunch of players because it's clearly shown that Keats doesn't know. The only positive, it's another, it's another point, but it's another point against a team that had four, I think it was four, proper first-team squad players. Absolutely shocking, Wrexham. Sort it out now, or I'm going to stop buying these £10 stream games. It's a waste of money watching that shit show every week. Excuse my language, I really am sorry. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's try and hit 1.4k on birthday, November 5th. Yeah, see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.